everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this arrow fold card, but this is a new size. This is using 5x7 card blanks or just a 5x7 size cut from a larger piece of cardstock. Now I shared this about three or four weeks ago over on my Hobby Base Live, which was on Facebook. So not everybody obviously would have seen that who follows me on YouTube, and I know a lot of people on YouTube don't have Facebook. And also you've asked in comments prior to do this style card in other sizes. So I shared this design first first um, probably about a year and a half ago now and that was the 6x6 size and that's just under the name arrow fold card if you punch it into YouTube you will find it straight away and I will also share it up here as well but you have absolutely loved that card and it seems to be one of those cards that just is a good all-rounder because it's constantly shared with me weekly over on the Facebook uh, group mixed up crafters and I love to see all the different styles you know in terms of decorating that you come up with so this is my one today like I said I have made it a few weeks ago and I will share those pictures of those cards over on my blog because they've actually gone now they've they've gone off and been appreciated by others so I don't have them at hand but this is the one we're going to be making today. Okay, so to make this card, you're going to need a piece of 10 by seven or a pre-made five by seven card base. So if you're cutting it like I have from a piece of white card stock, this is 10 by seven and score along the 10 inch side at five inches, fold in half and that will give you your card blank. So this is gonna be in the landscape orientation. So you want the fold along the top there. Then for your mats and your layers, I've got these two pieces here. So I've got this really lovely um, green glimmer cardstock. Can you see that? It's really smooth, it's lovely. This was one that I picked up from b and I shared it in one of my what did I get videos. This, you get loads, you get about, I think it was 10 different colors for 199 really nice cardstock so I'm using that one so this is four and three quarters by six and a half okay and then to layer on top it's that beautiful daisy print love this one this is five and three quarters by four and a quarter and then this is just a decorative strip to go on the envelope so this is one by it's like seven inches it will be cut down slightly shorter when we come to pop that on the envelope I believe you want it longer than the envelope length just so you can cut behind it just so you get a nice finish and then I've got all these pieces here to decorate and this is the papers so this is the crafters consortium the herbarian premium collection I have shared this again in the what did I get video I've used quite a few bits now started to make more and more projects with it um, I'm not going to go into it in too much detail, but you've got so many wonderful images and uh, patterns there. It's just really, really pretty. So I am picked out, like I said, that lovely daisy print there. So first of all, with your card blank, open it up. So you've got your score line here, okay? And just grab yourself, I've got my metal ruler and a pencil. And you want to mark the halfway mark between, <laughs> and you want to mark halfway along the seven inch side here. So you're going to score, sorry, not score, we will score in a minute. You're going to just pop a little pencil mark at three and a half. Okay, so just down there. If you don't want to use a pencil, because you're going to have to end up rubbing this out, if you just want to use a stylus, just like that, and you can just pop a little dent in your cardstock that way as well. Then what you want to do is along either sides here, you're going to come down two and a half inches. So two and a half, I'm just going to pop a little pencil mark just there. And again, so it's halfway, two and a half, like so. Okay, so that's all you need to do. So you'll have halfway markers there and a halfway marker here. Next, what you want to do is with your stylus, is you're going to score, first of all, from this school line here, you're going to score from the top left and the top right down to this middle pencil mark. So I'm going to start with the left hand side here, line my ruler down and then with my stylus. It's a very thin stylus this one. I do like this. This is the by www.paperbox.co.uk but it's paper as in P-A-Y-P-E-R. And um, it's just got a really nice, slightly smaller than all of your kind of scoreboard stylus. Is, <laughs> is this one here, so yeah, it's just nice when you're doing free kind of scoring like I'm doing here. And then again, just from the top right hand side, again, score straight down. And then you're gonna score now from those center markers here. So again, that pencil mark to that pencil mark. It's all about precision. Make sure you get this 
scoring really spot on. You want all of them to meet up perfectly with that point. So you get that lovely arrow um, shape when we come to fold all together. And then again, just that one there, like so. So whether this will pick it up, but you should be able to just see there, I've got the score line here and I've got a score line here. And again, on that side there, there we go, you can just see them both. So one score line goes all the way up there and one goes off to that one there, okay? Now I'm just going to rub those pencil marks out. Okay, like so, and then we just need to do some folding. So turn it over and just very carefully follow your first longest score line and you want to fold that in. Okay, so you've created a mountain fold like so. And again, this one here, fold that one. Okay, so now I've got those two mountain folds and then with this score line here, you're going to fold that one out like so, and again, like so, and there we have our arrow fold. Okay, so this is a mountain and that, side, that fold there is a valley. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick all that down in a moment, but when you fold that over now, you can see how you get your arrow shape. Now the reason I'm going to stick this down is this reason here. It just is too much bulk, it's too bouncy. I mean this is a 300 GSM cardstock that I'm using. You can obviously use lighter but you will still get this springiness and I just think that when it's completely stuck down flat, which is how I've showed it off in other videos, it just lies better, it stands up nicer and it's easier to post. So it's entirely up to you but I do prefer to stick it down. So I'm just going to lift up the sides here. And first of all I'm just going to add not much, you're really just kind of tacking it down. I'm just going to add some glue on that larger, these two insides here and just stick them down. Okay, and then you want to add glue in this piece here. Again, just roughly. This glue dries very clear, so I'm not too worried if it comes over the edges a little bit. And stick that down. So I'm just going to hold that there for a minute, and if you've got your Find where mine is, oh there it is, my bone folder. Just go over your score lines, really making sure that they're nice and flat. And that will help just spread out that glue as well. Okay, so now if I reburnish that one, look how flat that now lies. So I can open it up and it falls straight down much easier to post. So if you're going to make a few of these, I would say if you go along now and just make these to this stage, it's much, much easier then to, you know, decorate them all together as well. But I just think it's a lovely fold. Really like this one. It's so popular. Lots of you enjoy making this one. Okay, so now you want to bring in your two mats and layers. So you've got your largest one and your smallest one. And both of these you're going to score, I'm sorry, you're going to cut exactly the same way. But first of all, you need to mark the halfway point along the longest side. So this is six and a half, so I'm going to be scoring this one at three and a quarter. So just in the middle there, but I can't really see. There we go. To rub that, cut most of that out. So yeah, three and a quarter along the largest one. And then this one here, make sure you've got your pattern up the right way, okay? And along the bottom, so again, this is five and three quarters. So you're going to pop a pencil mark at two and seven eighths, okay, which will be your halfway point. Then grab your trimmer, or if you're just going to use um, scissors, you basically want to cut from that pencil mark up to that corner and from that pencil mark up to that corner. I'm going to use my trimmer, and that's how I showed it off in the other videos. But I'm going to line up the pencil mark along my blade here, and then the top piece here along the blade, okay. And it's just much, much quicker. Keep all of these pieces. You will use every single piece. So there's little waste, if any, with this card as well, which is good. And then cut that one. Okay, so that is what you want. So you're just removing those pieces, but keep them all. So that's that one. And then do exactly the same with this piece. Okay, so now we've got all those pieces. So that is everything. Next, I'm going to now stick all these pieces down. So this main one will stick right on top of your main triangle and you should have a really nice even border 
on all of those three sides. I'm going to try and get rid of some of that. Oh, there we go, perfect. Yeah, so that one's going to go there. Then the two pieces that you cut from either side will sit perfectly underneath here, like so. I like to keep my arrow piece here plain. If you want to mat and layer that, then you can do, but you need to work that one out yourself. But I know, I think a few people have. I haven't seen many people do it. And then this piece, make sure you've got your pattern paper up the right way, but that will sit perfectly. Again, giving you a nice even border. And then these pieces are going to go on top like so. Now because I'm using a glimmer cardstock, it is smooth but there's a, a very very slight I guess roughness to it and because of that I'm going to be using double sided tape and not wet glue because I just find wet glue, even the strong good quality glues, it will just peel off. So that is how everything will be. So what I'm going to do first of all is stick all my mats and layers or the layers on top of the mats and then I'll stick all of that down together and then basically we're going to finish it off by decorating and I've got these larger daisies and everything that should all come together really nicely. Okay, so there's that one now all decorated. So this is ready to write your message. If you want to stamp something there, you can. I'm going to leave that blank for now until nearer the time if I do, you know, give this to somebody or if some, one of my friends decides to buy it from me. But I am going to still keep it as a happy birthday card. And I'd already gone ahead here and just stamped happy birthday with white embossing powder. It's the WOW embossing powder. A few of you do ask which one I use. And it's this one here. I will share links to that one for you because it's really nice, it's ultra fine as well so you get a really nice finish. And then I just went in to die cut some, these are daisy dies, I've had these for years and I've done a daisy week a couple of years ago and used these and they're just one of those dies, especially in terms of a flower that will always be used and it worked perfectly with this print. So I'm going to have probably that one there and then I've die cut two smaller ones. So I think I'm going to do something like that and then I've cut some of the leaves there in that same green glimmer cardstock so they're going to kind of nestle always try and work in an odd number so i'm working in threes here it's just nice odd numbers are good when you're designing and then that's going to sit on top like so i think that looks lovely now i was unsure whether to add obviously you do have a yellow center with daisies but i didn't know whether to add this here and then do something with the smaller ones, hole punch the same card. So I'm not sure, you'll see what I decide to do. But Okay, before I stick that all down, I've had an idea. What I'm going to do is use the Nouveau Pure Sheen Glitter. This is the colour Glitter Light Gold. Again, super, super fine. It's really nice. So I'm going to just pop a load of wet glue in the centre there. This is a nice way to fill the middles, maybe if you don't have any gemstones or anything, or you know, something that might not quite match. I put a few stones in these, but I just I don't know, there was something about them I wasn't sure about. So instead, I'm going to try some glitter. So I'm going to grab just some paper here just to catch all that glitter. And then just tip. Oh, <laughs> well, I dumped that out a bit much, didn't I? Okay. There we go. That looks really, really pretty. There you go, nice little bit of gold as well to add to it. So it's still that yellow look, but add a bit of sparkle instead. And there's that one there. And then this one. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go in again on top with a bit more glue, just cause there's a few little white spaces I don't know if you can see it there, there's a little white space right in the middle there. So I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm going to reapply another layer and then that will be done. But I think they look really cute. Okay, so there is the finished card. So I popped another layer of the glitter there in the middles, which I just think looks much better. Stuck the happy birthday on top there. I've stuck that all down with my hot glue and I love it. I think it's a really nice special card. So like I said, I've not stamped inside because I'm not sure whether I'm going to fill it with lots of writing or if I will, you know, pop a sentiment. I can do that later, but that is the card. So it stands up really nicely and I just think it's a really nice size as well, the five by seven, which is one of my favorites. So then just with this piece here, I thought mine was longer, but it wasn't. It literally just fits. It's just a stick. I just, 
I don't know, it's just nice sometimes to just match your envelopes with your cards. So I'm just gonna stick this. This was by Pure Fluke that this has come in at this size because it was just scrap. But if yours comes over, flip it over and then cut it. You'll get a much nicer finish. But now I've got that piece and it just matches my card nicely. So there you have it guys. Hope you've enjoyed this new size. Because like I said, lots of you were asking and I think it's nice to revisit cards that I've done, you know, quite some time ago now. So I really love this one. I'm looking forward to giving it to somebody when the time comes. So that's it from me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. As always, please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.